Royal snub, reason Kate Middleton won't meet Meghan Markle when she returns to UK. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge will not be in the UK to greet Meghan Markle when she returns to the UK this week. Here's why. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William will likely not be in the country when Meghan Markle returns to the UK this week. Meghan and husband Prince Harry are due to attend the Endeavour Fund Awards on Thursday, March 5, meaning the Duchess of Sussex is expected to travel to Britain within the next 48 hours. The awards will be Meghan's first royal engagement since visiting Canada House in January to thank Canadian High Commissioner Janice Charette and her staff for making them feel so welcome during their six-week break there. The couple had been enjoying downtime on Vancouver Island in British Columbia from the end of November, and spent Christmas there with Meghan's mother Doria Ragland, as well as the New Year. When the Sussexes returned to the UK in January, they announced their intention to step back as senior members of the royal family and become financially independent. They also said they would split their time between the UK and North America. But Meghan only stayed for a couple of days following the bombshell announcement, and has not returned to the UK since. However, after securing the so-called Megxa deal with the Queen, Prince Charles, and Prince William, the Sussexes will perform their last royal engagements this week before officially stepping down. Meghan will also attend the International Women's Day on March 8 and join Harry for the Mountbatten Festival on Saturday. Their final official engagement is expected to be March 9, when they will join the Queen at Westminster Abbey to mark Commonwealth Day. But when Meghan returns this week, she will not be greeted by her brother-in-law Prince William and his wife Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will undertake a three-day trip to Ireland, starting today, continuing with their non-stop royal engagements in 2020. Gate and William's royal tour of Ireland will kick off on March 3 and last until March 5. In a statement, the royal family said the trip will highlight the many strong links between the UK and Ireland. The statement read, the Duke and Duchess will learn about local organisations working to support and empower young people and projects which provide opportunities to help them develop important life skills. Their Royal Highnesses will also hear more about Ireland's conservation initiatives and efforts to protect its environment, with a particular focus on sustainable farming and marine conservation. The UK's link with Ireland are extensive, and the Duke and Duchess are looking forward to building a lasting friendship with the Irish people. Although Kate and William won't be in the UK to welcome Meghan, they will meet with the Duchess later this week. On March 9. The Cambridges and Sussexes will reunite for the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey. Activities planned for the day include debates, school assemblies, flag-raising ceremonies, street parties, cultural events and a multicultural, multi-faith service at the Abbey in London. The theme for the 2020 Commonwealth Day is delivering a common future, connecting, innovating, transforming. According to royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams, it's unlikely the couples would have any plans to meet outside their royal engagement. He told Express.co.uk the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will not have appreciated how Meghan and Harry so flagrantly disrespected the Queen and the institution when they decided to leave life as royals behind. Meghan Markle's strength, Duchess comes back to face the music but won't show heartbreak. Meghan Markle has to come back to face the music but won't show any negative emotions while carrying out her last engagements in the UK even if she feels uneasy, a royal expert said. Meghan and Prince Harry are gearing up to attend their last engagements in the UK as senior royals this week. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are scheduled to be at the Endeavour Fund Awards on March 5, their first joint engagement together since January 8. The awards will be followed by other public appearances, culminating in their participation to the Commonwealth Service next Monday. This week marks the end of an era for Meghan and Harry, and, possibly, a bittersweet moment for the Duchess of Sussex, according to royal expert Katie Nichol. The expert believes the American-born Duchess will feel some trepidation about returning to the UK weeks after she released with Harry a bombshell statement announcing their intention to step back as full-time working members of the royal family. She told OK! Magazine, she has to come back and face the music here, 
and she'll feel a sense of duty. It's also bittersweet for her because she sacrificed a lot to move to the UK. She gave up her home, her nationality and her career and fully threw herself into royal life, so there will be a sadness about the way it all panned out. According to Ems Nicol, the Duchess of Sussex will lean on her skills as an actress to hide any negative feelings she may experience while in public in the UK. The expert said, even if she's feeling uneasy, she won't let it show. She can put on a good front, so we will see plenty of that megawatt Meghan smile over the coming days. The couple, who are believed to be leaving their son Archie Harrison in Canada while they stay across the pond, don't have any public events scheduled after the Commonwealth Service next Monday. However, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will officially step down as senior royals on March 31st after which Meghan and Harry will no longer be able to carry out royal duties or use their HRH styles. As announced last week by Canada's Minister of Public Safety, the Sussexes will also lose the protection provided for them so far by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. In a statement, Bill Blair said, The Royal Canadian Mounted Police, RCMP, has been engaged with officials in the UK from the very beginning regarding security considerations. As the Duke and Duchess are currently recognized as internationally protected persons, Canada has an obligation to provide security assistance on an as-needed basis. At the request of the Metropolitan Police, the RCMP has been providing assistance to the Met since the arrival of the Duke and Duchess to Canada intermittently since November 2019. The assistance will cease in the coming weeks, in keeping with their change in status. While in the UK, Meghan will likely carry out her own private and patronage-related meetings. The Duchess, who is patron of four organizations, has often visited her patronages in a personal capacity in the past and, according to a source, her last trip to the UK as senior royals won't be different. The insider told Bazaar.com, Meghan will be conducting something private and patronage-related meetings during her time in London. Meghan Markle gets sweet endorsement from ice cream company, Our Queen. Meghan Markle has found support from an unlikely source in the wake of Megxit, as ice cream company Cool House hailed Meghan Markle a queen in its latest ad campaign. Cool House, a women-founded ice cream company based in California, celebrated Women's History Month by launching a royal-inspired coffee flavor sweet treat. In the ad for the new flavor, the brand name checked the Duchess and labeled her a queen. The advert read, Ice cream fit for a queen. Call us, Megan. In the run up to International Women's Day, the ice cream brand will donate an unspecified amount of proceeds to Mina Mahila Foundation, an NGO charity that focuses on period poverty in India. Megan previously visited Mina Mahila Foundation in 2017 and wrote a piece for Time magazine entitled, how periods affect potential. In the article, Megan mentioned how she had seen firsthand on a trip to India how young women are struggling to cope with their menstrual cycle and how it's affecting their education. Now the ice cream brand is praising the bold duchess who always throws her support behind initiatives she believes in. Twitter users could not wait to praise the advert as they took to the site to gush over the campaign. One said, I'm eager to know if any local store in my country has it. Another replied, So cool. An ice cream company supporting Meghan and International Women's Day. A third commented, So sweet, Meghan's power. It comes as Meghan is due to return the UK for her final royal engagements alongside Prince Harry this week amid claims that she is feeling some trepidation about it. The Sussexes will attend the Endeavour Fund Awards on Thursday before they leave the UK behind for a fresh start in North America. In an interview with OK! Magazine, royal expert Katie Nichol said that the return will be bittersweet for Meghan. Ms. Nichol claims that Meghan will feel sadness about how everything turned out, but will be prepared to wear a brave face in public. The expert said, it's bittersweet for her because she sacrificed a lot to move to the UK. She gave up her home, her nationality and her career and fully threw herself into royal life, so there will be a sadness about the way it all panned out. She added, even if she's feeling uneasy, she won't let it show. She can put on a good front, so we will see plenty of that megawatt Megan smile over the coming days. 
The Endeavour Fund awards that the pair will be attending as one of their final royal appearances is to celebrate the achievements of wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women. The annual award ceremony, now in its fourth year brings together wounded, injured and sick service personnel and veterans.